This is a headless MacBook that I bought for just $80. It's one of the strangest yet most rewarding purchases I've ever made. It's a 2014 15-inch MacBook Pro minus the display. What you get is a machine with an Intel i7 CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 128 gigabytes SSD, and of course the iconic Apple keyboard and touchpad. All I needed was an HDMI cable and a monitor to bring it to life. Today I'd like to share my thoughts on this new toy and what I've been doing with it after tinkering for a few days. First, let's talk about the operating system. The downside with older MacBooks is Apple's limited software support. Officially, this machine can only run up to macOS Big Sur. There are methods to install the latest OS with tools like OpenCore Legacy Patcher, but from my research these often come with issues like sleep mode malfunctions. Windows wasn't an option since Windows 11 doesn't support this older CPU, and I wasn't keen on wrestling with compatibility issues. So, I decided to ditch Mac OS entirely and transform this beast into a Linux desktop. The beauty of Linux is its ease of installation. I simply burned a Linux ISO onto a USB drive, booted the headless MacBook Pro with the Option key held down, and within minutes I was up and running on a sleek Linux desktop. This time I opted for Pop OS, a popular distro with rave reviews. The installation was flawless, and within half an hour I was navigating my new Linux environment. The best part? Everything worked out of the box. No need for fiddling with additional drivers. Interestingly, Pop OS uses a customized GNOME desktop that bears a slight resemblance to Mac OS. While some may find this appealing, I'm not a huge fan of docs for window management. Thankfully, Linux offers endless customization options. Considering its age, I wasn't expecting much in terms of performance, but this headless MacBook Pro surprised me in a big way. The i7 CPU tackled 4K YouTube playback in Firefox with minimal frame drops. The 16 GB of RAM made multitasking a breeze. I juggled 10 Firefox tabs, Spotify streaming music, and several documents simultaneously, with the machine handling it all effortlessly. The temperature did climb a bit, reaching over 70 degrees Celsius during normal use. However, the fan noise remained whisper quiet. Pushing it with 4K videos did crank up the fan noise, but it never became distracting. For everyday tasks, this headless setup delivers a smooth and capable experience. However, don't expect it to be a gaming powerhouse. The integrated graphics simply don't have the muscle for demanding games. Ten-year-old titles like Tomb Raider ran at unplayable frame rates even at low resolution. My only saving grace for gaming was 2D indie titles like Vampire Survivors, which ran flawlessly. The surprise star when it comes to entertainment? Game streaming. Thanks to Intel QuickSync technology, this setup outperformed my M1 MacBook Air in terms of decoding speed. Video editing, however, was a different story. Not a smooth experience at all. For just $80, you get a surprisingly capable PC with a fantastic keyboard and touchpad. It sounds too good to be true, right? Compared to even used mini PCs, the performance per dollar is unmatched, especially considering the built-in keyboard and touchpad. So, what's the catch? The biggest concern lies in the unknown origin of these headless machines. A common theory is that people ditch the display when replacements are too expensive. While this might be true in some cases, I suspect there's more to the story. Sellers might be sourcing parts from various MacBook models, potentially leading to unforeseen compatibility issues down the road. That being said, I doubt anyone would consider this their primary computer. 
as a backup PC or a tinkering project, the value proposition is undeniable. Think about it. For under $100, you get a complete PC with a comfortable keyboard, Apple's exceptional touchpad, surprisingly loud speakers, and the ability to run various operating systems with a little tweaking. The bonus? It even has a battery. While it won't match Apple Silicon's legendary battery life, it can handle basic tasks and web browsing for four to five hours on a single charge. By now, you're probably brimming with ideas for how this could fit into your life. Here are a few ideas. Media streamer. Plug it into your TV for 4K playback. Portable workstation. Pair it with a portable monitor for a nerdy looking travel companion. Raspberry Pi keyboard alternative offers similar tinkering possibilities at a potentially lower cost. The quirky charm and surprising power of this headless MacBook Pro make it a fantastic purchase. If you stumble upon a similar deal, don't hesitate. You might just discover your next tech obsession. Thanks for joining me today. See you next time.